You don't have to do anything within this lecture. I just want you to understand the principles, where PowerPoint takes the colors from, and how do they actually influence the shapes we have. Okay, I have inserted four shapes. As you probably notice, always when you insert a shape into PowerPoint, it's a blue shape. But why is that? This is because the default theme color has the first accent color set to blue. If I click on a shape, shape format, shape fill, those are the theme colors. So we have text colors, and then we have those colors, accent one, accent two, accent three, and so on. Below that, we have shades of the same color. So actually we only have those colors, but the colors on the bottom here are simply lighter and darker shades of this particular color. Now, the first one is blue. This is why the shapes always turn into that color. If we go into the design tab, open the variant, colors, and we customize the colors, we have access to the actual accents we have here. And let's say you have a presentation and you would like to everything turn green, then you can change those accents to, for example, more colors, something, something like this. Accent number two, I'll do it a more green color. Okay. And accent number three, more colors. I will give it something blue. Okay. So I have three new accent colors. I press saved. You see everything has changed to the new color I have set up because if I click on the shape, shape format, the new theme I have used for this presentation has those three colors I have set. So what happens to shapes if you recolor them to either theme colors or custom colors? This is what I wanted to show you within this lecture. Let's say I'll select color number one here. And for the second shape, I will select another color from the theme colors. For example, this last color here. Okay. But for those shapes, I will set a completely different custom color. I take my pick whip. I can go to shape fill eyedropper. I click with the eyedropper and I pick a color that I've imported into PowerPoint, a completely different color. So PowerPoint doesn't know this color. It's a new custom color. It's not on this palette. It's a completely custom color. And for this as well, I will select shape fill, more fill colors, and I will select a completely custom color, which PowerPoint doesn't have in our basic palette. Now, what will happen if I change the color scheme of this presentation? Let me show you. I go again to design. I open the colors. Oh, sorry. I opened the template. Variants, colors, custom colors. Now watch what happens. If I change the accent one, and I believe the last one was green, so it is accent number six. I change it to a yellow color and accent number six. I change it also to a yellow color and I press save. You can see those two change it, but those two didn't. Only the shape outlines changed. Why is that? Because here PowerPoint knows that I'm using from the shape format colors I have here. So I only changed the physically the color, but it's still for PowerPoint. It's accent number one and accent number six. So PowerPoint knows that PowerPoint should use this color for this shape and this color for this first shape, no matter what color that is. For the items on the right side, on, other, on the other hand, I have selected custom colors, so PowerPoint cannot change the color of those. There is no right way to set colors in PowerPoint. It depends if you want to use the basic themes or if you want to change the colors later on, or you want to go for something completely custom. In my opinion, it's very convenient to have a color scheme here and I just click on the shape, Alt three, boom, because I have uh, my eyedropper set on Alt and the three shortcut. So I can always very quickly change the colors. On the other hand, it's convenient that I do not have to do anything, only go to design, variants, and depending how many color variants you have here, the first two shapes will change because I have different accents here. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you understood what I wanted to get across here. And if not, please ask me some questions and we'll see each other in other tutorials very similar to this.